Now, I'll see another interview of a physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku. Uh, again, he might be a wonderful person, but look at what he says. Uh, he is just doesn't know what he's talking about. Here it goes. Now, so far, we have not seen the smoking gun. We have not seen evidence of DNA, for example, from these alien bodies. No ifs, ands, or buts. As soon as we have alien DNA or an alien chip, end of story. He's a smart guy. He wants to see the alien DNA because uh, David Grush, in his testimony before Congress, said when, when, when a ship goes down, an airship goes down, there's a reasonable, reasonable expectation. In some cases, you're going to recover the pilot. And he says that we have um, biological material that's been recovered. And he said that he'll be glad to give all the details where it is, what it is to Congress in, in a secret session. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? As I've stated publicly already in my News Nation interview, uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Um, were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. And was this documentary evidence, this video, photos, eyewitness, like how would that be determined? The specific documentation I would have to talk to you in a skiff about. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, now Dr. this Dr. Kak, Kaku says he wants to see the DNA. So let me ask you this. How does this physicist know that the alien beings have DNA? How does he know that they reproduce using DNA? I'll give you the answer. He doesn't know. This is another example of where, where people don't realize, but it's very difficult to think beyond what your experience has been. We now know all living beings are made of cells, right? Well, cells were in living beings were discovered in the early 1800s. Before that, nobody knew that living beings were made of cells. Now we can only think of if it's an alien, human, alien being, it must be made of cells. We have no idea. Maybe it's not made of cells. What is it made of? What are they made of? I don't know. No, no, we've not studied them. Maybe the Pentagon has, but I don't know. But he can't assume that they're made of that they're made of cells. When he says he wants to see their DNA, and not only do we not know that they have DNA, uh, they maybe they have some other chemical. But all living beings in this world are based on carbon. If you look at pictures of there's four basic types of molecules that make up living beings: it's proteins, fats, carbohydrates, which includes sugars, and nucleic acids, which is what. DNA and RNA are made of. Uh, we're going to show you pictures of, of, of a protein now. Now here's, now here's a diagram of carbohydrates. And notice the lines. You see the lines? The lines that go and they connect to each other. You see other chemicals there. Nitrogen and nitrogen, O, oxygen. You see those. But you, only see, but you also see these lines. Look at um, fats now. And look at nucleic acids. What are those lines? Those lines are carbon. In other words, where one line hits another line, that's a carbon right there. We don't bother to put in C for carbon because carbon is, so, is the basic backbone that all life on Earth is made of. When this Dr. Kaku, the, the physicist, says he wants to see their DNA. Forget that he doesn't even know if they have DNA. He doesn't even know if they are carbon-based beings. If you look at the periodic table, remember that from, I don't know, late elementary school, of all the elements known to mankind? It's organized in columns based upon the number of electrons in the outer shell of each atom that can be used to bind to other atoms. In other words, you have atoms, and the way they, then they, when they attach together, all that attach together, they make molecules. And that's what all, all living things are made of. Well, they attach together by sharing electrons. I'm using the most basic model called the, the Bohr theory, Niels Bohr theory of, um, of atomic structure. I'm not talking about quantum mechanics. It doesn't, it's not necessary to go there for this, this discussion. But you go down a column, those all have the similar um, electrons called valence electrons out on the outer core so they can make similar attachments to other other atoms to build molecules carbon is the basis is the basic atom on which all life on earth is made all the molecules 
that, that make us up are based on, on carbon. Well, if you go down one, one step, you have silicon. Silicon is also has the similar binding characteristics, similar electrons on the outer core to make bonds with other. Maybe these beings are, beings are silicon based. As a matter of fact, there's a, a very intriguing case in South America of a crashed UFO and two bodies being recovered. And all the people that got, that came anywhere near contact with these UFOs spoke about how they stank, how the smell was so repulsive, they, 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 they could barely stand getting anywhere near them. Now, maybe that's sulfur, maybe it's two mercaptopurine or some other compound that stinks so much. So I'm not suggesting that they're sulfur based because sulfur is a different two other two columns over on the periodic table. Maybe they are, or maybe that's just some coating secreted on their bodies. I, I don't have any idea. But when he says he wants to see their DNA, we don't know that. The, the depiction of it, most aliens in movies or over the over the last, you know, 50 years is is small bodies and big heads. Why? Um, if they're able to, you know, uh, be so smart to cross galaxies, they're going to have incredible weapons. They don't need big, strong bodies anymore. They need big intellects. They got big heads and small bodies. Okay, brilliant. What do they really look like? We have no idea. You can't have any preconceived notions. Maybe they have three eyes all around their heads. Maybe they, look, maybe they look like an octopus. I have no idea. You have no idea. But to say that he wants to see their DNA, look how smart I am. You don't know they have DNA.